Well, we have uh, Nick Vinberg, who's been a uh, you know great leader for us over the years. Uh, was a first team all conference. Does a lot of uh, leadership work in the regiment. Uh, Mike Morsberger. Mike Morsberger was also also played basketball, and he was another individual who's a natural leader. Does a lot of uh, you know really good things. Team camaraderie. Liam Connors. Liam Connors is a is a real leader on the field as far as his work ethic is concerned uh, and his contributions. Uh, we have Kyle Buser. He's a he's a senior uh, player this year. Played uh, a year at Richmond. Came up and because of his age, uh, is a great leader. Hopefully, uh, he can continue his success with leadership in the regiment. And then uh, a key to our leadership people is uh, Troy Brennan, our academic captain, who's done a fabulous job keeping everybody eligible. Well, we open up this Saturday, uh, the 29th. We it's real early for us. Uh, you know, unfortunately, we don't get to play fall ball. So we still have a lot of kinks to work out. We're still trying to get some fellas back from some injuries. You know, it's tough to bring them back right out of sea. They get some leg injuries early. So once we get those guys going, we'll be consistent within the uh, within the conference. So well, you know, hopefully, you know, Liam Kahn is Liam Kahn is, is a is a key attackman for us. We're hoping to see some stuff from uh, you know Nick Alberici and Callahan and Mike Morsberger. You know, as soon as basketball's over, it's going to take a couple of days off and then come back. Uh, so we expect to get some nice things from uh, from them on attack. You know, midfield, you know, you have Jackson Meisner, you know, and uh, John Maudsley, uh, and some younger midfielders that we can hope uh, break in. Carter Hall is a freshman that we're expecting some good things from. Defensively, we believe that we'll probably be strongest on defense this year. That's where the most experience is with uh, Jason Aiello, Ben Matthews, you know, Nick Vinberg, uh, Jake Erickson. Uh, Rapasi and uh, Adam Burnt and Luke Paraguay are at the, at the long poles for us, and hopefully uh, Kevin Cruz can break in there. The biggest uh, piece of the puzzle we have to put together are short stick D middies. Uh, you know, losing uh, losing the fellows we've had over the last couple of years have been extraordinary at that position. So that's the biggest area we think we have to fill in. Our goalies, we've. All three of them have started. All three of them have split games, so there's some competition going there, and we haven't decided who the uh, who the start is going to be just yet. You know, we try and we try and play uh, as competitive schedule as we possibly can. Uh, you know, within uh, within distance of the institution because of the academics, especially uh, you know third trimester here with the first classmen. So it's competitive there. The conference is always competitive. You know, every year is a new year. Uh, winning's easy. Staying a winner is uh, is hard, and getting guys to buy into it and making sure that they uh, they work hard and, and compete. So we'll be in the mix. Nice. How nice. far we can go, not sure. We'll see. Nice. Manhattanville is close. They're one of the original Skyline, t you know, teams. So I don't know if you can call them new. Right. <laughs> you know, old is new. So they were in it before when we first. Uh, when we were first in the skyline left and then came back to the skyline. So it's a nice mix of competition right there.